I wanted to go self-employed for quite a while now. I feel like this is the core for everything. You are good enough. You are worth of love. That's such a good question. And I was so amazed to see the, the result is literally my biggest success. Come on, this is nonsense. This is super easy. I mean, this is just temporary, which I am, but it doesn't mean that I cannot have fun. What makes a startup successful? If you did ask this question, you're completely right here. Today's guest in our founder stories is Remy Haik. Remy, welcome. Who are you and what do you do? Hi, Marcus. Thank you for having me. Um, so I'm Remy. I started my business uh, two months ago. And in my business, I help uh, women that want to go out of the diet cycle and to finally uh, feel good in their own body without having to go through a diet. That's great. What is the complete offer customers can get from you? So I do that with one-on-one -on -one coaching or in a group coaching, in a group program. And mainly the focus is on building healthy habits. So I teach my clients how they can do that for themselves and how they can get the benefits from it to have long lasting results for the years to come. In one sentence, what is the key message for your customers? Um, that your weight does not matter. The way your body looks does not matter. You are enough. You are good enough. You are worth of love and everything you want. And the weight and the way you think you look is just something to add on. That's great. We're living in quite challenging times. Why did you decide to get self-employed in times like these? Um, I wanted to go self-employed for quite a while now. I always knew that this um, that this area is interesting for me, the fitness area, the wellness and nutrition. Um, ever since I was a kid, my mom lost uh, a lot of weight, I think 30, 35 kilos uh, back when I was 12. And I started asking questions like, why can we eat this? And why are we eating this? And ever since then, I educated uh, myself and I went to school for uh, learning how to do that. And I found that especially during those, these times that we're, um, that we're facing, a lot of women, a lot of people uh, are working uh, in home office. And, um, the, and then more people are struggling with the weight and their body image. So I, I understood that I have a bigger message. I understood that I have something big that I can help women with. Uh, so I just see it as the optimal time and the perfect time to do that. Oh, that sounds great. You started two months ago? Yes. What were the biggest challenges you faced since that time? Um, the biggest challenge I would say is probably the mindset. I feel like this is the core for everything, uh, in every, every area in life, but this is the, the core of everything. I feel like, um, when, when you set yourself up into a positive mindset and that you decide that your day will be good. And then, um, when you work on that, then your actions will follow directly after that. So if you will, you know, decide that you have a goal and you see your goal in front of you, then you will decide, okay, I'm going to be positive about it. I'm, you know, just, just working your mindset. That's the, the, the main thing. What was the biggest success since you started? Uh, that's, that's such a good question because I feel like that in the past, I used to think that success was a title or how much money you have in the bank. And those are great as well. Like it's amazing to have money in the bank, but I feel like now I understand that the, the success is really the impact and how I can help other people. Mm. And, and therefore, um, as, as soon as I started uh, the business, I, I launched uh, an online program, uh, a group program, and I was so amazed to see the, the results and, and of the women that were there. And also just to see them showing up and doing the thing for themselves, this for me is literally my biggest success. 
That sounds great. What do your customers say about you? I feel that mostly they say that I help them with a mindset shift, with a shift in perspective of how they look at the scale. Mm -hmm. And I had a few clients that even told me that they threw away the, the scale and they don't weigh themselves uh, uh, every morning, which is, again, just a big success for me because... Um, because that's, that's, that's basically what I preach that, you know, you can look amazing and, and feel beautiful in your body and feel amazing in your body, regardless of the number you see on the scale. I do not look at the scale. <laughs> Good for you. What, what were you afraid of when you started? Um, mainly that I will just not be able to do it. Mainly that I will just, um, have no clue what I'm doing, <laughs> that I will fail immediately. Um, just, just many fear around how to do it and that I might not be successful and that I might have no idea what I'm doing and all sorts of those fears. But you could do it. You were able to manage it. How is it from today's perspective? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like it's funny because I feel like with, with fears and, and again, I'm going back to mindset because this is such a big role uh, in my eyes for, again, every area in our, in our lives because every level, each new level that you reach, um, there are other fears that are coming. So if I look back, I'm like, well, of course you can do it. I mean, come on, this is nuts and this is super easy. Uh, but now I have like different things that I'm like, okay, uh, what will I do next? And other fears that are coming up. What helped you to overcome the fears that time? Um, I feel like I have a really strong um, sense of why I do what I do. Uh, and this is something that I keep in front of me all the time, every day. I feel like this is a major component because... There are days still until today and also back then that, you know, not every day I wake up cheerful and, and bubbly and want to do everything. Um, but when I keep my why in front of me and when I know why I'm doing what I'm doing, um, it helps me get out of this uh, cycle of, um, you know, this, is won't, this won't work and all those kind of stuff and all those fears because I know that my goal is bigger than this situation. My goal is bigger than the bad day I might be having. So when I know that this goal is bigger and the message I have to bring into the world is much bigger than this, I mean, this is just temporary. So you're also having bad days, but yes. you overcome them and yes. make them a success? Yes. Why did you decide to work with a startup coach? Um, I knew genuinely that I need help. I truly could be also the fears in a way, but I really knew that again, because I knew that I wanted to be um, self-employed for a while and I had this vision of the company that I want to build. I knew that I need to take it seriously. Um, I had a couple of years ago that I was uh, freelancing, but I feel like it wasn't serious in my eyes. I was just like, oh, I'm freelancing, teaching here, do, doing this, do, doing this, but it wasn't really serious. And then as soon as I decided, you know what, I want to make my dream come true and I want to build a business. I want to build my dream business. I knew that I need assistance uh, doing that. You decided to work with X Group. Why did you decide to work with X Group? Um, well, this is a funny story. I heard about X Group, um, I think, either three or four years ago, uh, because back then I knew that I wanted to be self-employed. Um, so I just started looking online. I started searching for events and, and all kinds of um, um, things that could help business, uh, business owners or people that want to start their business. And I was actually here in uh, a meetup event uh, in this office uh, a while back. And I also have a notebook that I wrote everything down, everything they said, I wrote every single word. And I remembered, I kept it in my head and I felt like, okay, I feel here somewhat of support. Uh, and, and that's why it was clear to me that when I will do it official and, and take it to the next level, I will uh, come to the X group. It was obvious. It was great that you remembered this event. You worked with a couple of different consultants how was it to work with 
different specialists. Um, I love that. I love that because I feel like we can learn from anyone. Uh, and especially in, in terms of business, every coach has different, um, um, different strengths. And therefore, I could take uh, the best out of each meeting or with each coaching, I can get the best out of it and learn something new from a new perspective that, perspective that maybe a different coach wouldn't have it. So I just, I love it. That's great. Would you recommend to work with X-Group? Yes, of course. I already recommended a few a few times. Uh, I don't know if the people came to you, but I did recommend already. <laughs> but hopefully, I have to check that if they did. Otherwise, we need to remember them. What are the best things you faced in the work with X Group? I think the feeling of having support, the feeling of... Having somebody there, I mean, of course, then, you know, when you build your own business, and especially if you're a one-man show, one-woman show, um, you do everything by yourself, like literally everything. And then and then it feels like with, with our coaching, it felt really that I have support and that I could ask anything. And um, yeah, and I just felt safe. I just felt good. That's great. If you look back, what are the three major learnings for our customers, for your customers out of this time? The three major learnings from the startup coaching and from the period of starting the company, founding the company. What are the three major learnings? I would definitely say that the first would be a mindset. So take care of your mindset, take care of your thoughts and where you put your focus on. Um, because again, it's very easy to, to lean into fear. It's very easy to believe this voice that's telling you, no, this is not good. Uh, don't believe this voice. <laughs> it's I, not I, true. I, I do not know this voice. <laughs> Where does it come from? Um, just really work on your mindset and, 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 and see that the people that are around you also support you and support your dreams. And if they don't, that's fine. But just Be in, in the surroundings of people that support your dreams and make you feel just good and positive, mainly. Um, the second thing would be to know how to ask for help and really receive it. Um, because sometimes, and again, especially people that you know start their own business and when you're so used to doing things by yourself... Um, letting people in is sometimes difficult. So just really understanding, okay, where your strengths are and where your weaknesses are and where you need help, just ask for help, get help. Everything's fine. Um, and then the third thing is to remember to have fun. Remember to have fun in general in life, but specifically in business. I feel like Sometimes for myself, I can say that sometimes I do take myself too seriously because I'm getting into a mindset of I'm a business owner, which I am, but it doesn't mean that I cannot have fun. <laughs> so, um, and you know, at the end of the day, um, in life, nobody gets alive anyway. So just have fun, enjoy the process, enjoy the learnings, and also enjoy the days that are not <laughs> the best because they lead you uh, to a better place at some point. So. So the three most important things are mindset, asking for help, and having fun. Completely. For entrepreneurs and founders, it's absolutely necessary to be fit and healthy. What are the three top tips for us to be healthy and fit and be a bit fitter than starting from now? Yeah. Um, okay. So three things that you can do, you can start today. Uh, first is drink more water than you do, uh, water? Water, more water, because most of us don't drink water, especially in winter time. We forget to drink water. So drink water about two liters a day. Um, and, um, the second would be movement. Just move, just do something to move your body. Again, especially if you're working in front of a, a computer, um, a movement daily does not have to be a two-hour workout in the gym. It can also be going out and taking a walk and maybe listening to something inspirational or doing something like that. So any movement, it could be 10 minutes of stretching between your meetings. Just do something for your body. Um, and then the third would be 
um, to incorporate more vegetables into your nutrition, into your daily nutrition. So it could be uh, cooked vegetables, could be fresh vegetables, but make sure that in each meal you have some vegetables uh, there to give you more fibers and to help your metabolism and just help your body in general. Water, moving, vegetables. How many coffee am I allowed to drink <laughs> each day? Yeah, so uh, coffee is best, max three cups of coffee. Three, okay, it's my second one. So one more is allowed? <laughs> it's good. Um, and then, especially when you drink coffee, make sure to have two glasses of water for each cup of coffee because caffeine uh, can really dries out our liver and we don't want a dry liver. Nobody wants that. And it, so in order for the liver to work properly and just in general, your entire body, just drink two glasses of water for each cup of coffee. And of course we want to know, everyone wants to know, are we allowed to eat chocolate cake? Yes, of course. <laughs> of course, of how, course. How many? Um, well, preferably not the whole cake. Okay. <laughs> but I feel like I feel like that's the thing. I feel like also, you know, um, and this is the thing with, with this diet mindset, right? Because food is just food. Right, so the, there's no good food, bad food. This I'm allowed to eat. This I'm not allowed. So if we go into a mindset that I'm not allowed to eat something, what happens is if you think about a kid that is like a small kid, if you tell them no, what will they do? They do the same thing you told them no not to do, right? So it's the same thing. If you tell yourself you're not allowed to eat cake, you will probably build up such a strong craving that at one point the only thing you will want to eat is cake. So we want to come back and we want to just. Um, Avoid the situation, just eat in balance, just make sure, again, you have the core uh, basics of your balanced nutrition, and you can still eat cake. <laughs> Carrot cake. Vegetables in every meal. Also, yes, also that. <laughs> Thank you, Remy, for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. If you want to find Remy, how can they find them? Um, well, just on my website, it's remyhike.com or on Instagram. I hang out there all the time. So it's just my name, Remy Hike. Dear customers, if you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel to make sure to get videos like this. If you have questions to your startup business, ask in the comments below.